So do all the girls in your family have names that start with J? Yes. Mm -hmm. Our mother started that with our our the four daughters with us, and then I did the J. So no, my four daughters. And then you broke it. I did. I did. I did. Does she have a middle name that starts with the J? Not at all. Adalia and Grace. And then, because I didn't want to have a name that anybody else had, I didn't want her to be named anything anybody else had. Because Jennifer, 1980, what was it? 78 to 82, it was like one in two chances. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I had the Betsy Betsy doll. So. <laughs> oh, all right. So what we're gonna do is everybody's got wait, everybody's got a chair. So have your chair on. See. Joe, we're having a huge birthday extravaganza today. Hey, uh, chairs out, ladies. I'm gonna call, call my mama. Today. Oh my God. Aww. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do just to get started out is to come to standing, although I love how everybody's seated. You gave me a chair. I know, I, I appreciate that. You know, my teacher Manju says that the reason why the people have to get all their hips replaced in the US is because of chairs. He says, and Rima, you maybe you know, I don't know if my teacher says uh, he, he, he says that we need to sit on the floor and that keeps you from that moves you through your full range of emotion so that keeps you from having to get your hip replaced. I I don't know if that's all that's true, but there we go. All right, we're not gonna sit down like this, don't worry. But what I do want us to do is go ahead and come to our Pilates stance. Feels I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I feel like I came in here late and I'm like rushing in like a big whirlwind. So I'm gonna hopefully lose some of that. And I apologize for all of you guys from the online world. You're looking at, oh look, there you can see me now. Pilates B, heels down, toes are between two inches and one fist width apart. It kind of depends on what school you're from, whatever feels comfortable. What we want though is the heels pressing down into the mat and then Pretend you have an American Express, American Express black card in between your legs. You don't want to lose that, right? It's not yours. It's got an unlimited uh, limit on it, and you get to spend it. So we're going to squeeze, right? Squeeze. Me, I have to go <laughs> <laughs> You get to spend it if you hold on to it in between your legs for this whole class. You feel how that suddenly lights and stuff up in there? Like that's what we're wanting. We're wanting to light up those inner thighs, really squeezing it together. And I know anatomically speaking, you may not have come out at birth with your legs touching the whole way together like I did, but you're still thinking that same activation in her thighs. Now, pull those shoulders, maybe wiggle jiggle the shoulders a little bit, and then roll them down and away from the from your ears. Now, what wants to happen is your boobies want to come out, so don't let them come out. <laughs> Knit those ribs in. Knit the ribs in, and at the same time, go ahead and think about your headlights, those ASI bones, pubic bone, try to have them all in one line. So if you want, you can use your hands and finger to make sure that you're not going forward and you're not tilting back. I'm famous for tilting back. So try to figure out, wiggle, jiggle, do your Shakira. You feel those bones right there? Yeah. The pubic bone is right here. At the right at the top of your hoo-ha, that's your pubic bone. All right, now you want all three of those. If there was like a nice flat piece of paper, and I know that there's anatomy that might get in the way, but feel the bones, pretend the bones are there. So cheerleader booty, pubic bones that way. See vertical booty, pubic bones that way. See the difference? Neutral spine, pubic bone, straight down. See that? No. You might not be the same. I didn't see. All right, well, we're thinking neutral spine. There we go. Got Another way to find your neutral spine is bring your hands to your hips and pretend your hips, your pelvis is a big bowl of, of Fruit Loops. That's my favorite. And we don't want to spill the Fruit Loops forward. That would be a shame. And we don't want to spill the Fruit Loops backwards, right? Or maybe it's a cup of coffee with a nice, nice frothy foam at the top. So find your cup of coffee and find it where it's nice and stable, where the eat where it's even here. Forward, back, up, and down. All right, squeeze the American Express black card. Hands reach down to the mat beside you. Shoulders square. Now take the hands to the tummy. Close Waving the eyes. Pardon? Waving our heels. We're about to get there. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your hands to your tummy. Close your eyes and start to breathe a little bit. Right now we're just having the weight be everywhere. 
And as you'll notice that as you breathe, thinking about the tummy moving towards your hands as you exhale, away from your hands as you inhale without thinking about it, you're gonna sway a little bit. That's natural, especially with your eyes closed. Now think about crown of the head reaching towards the sky, draw that navel in and up. Now put the weight to the heels. Try to keep your eyes closed, it's really scary. Now think about putting the weight into the outer edges of the feet. It's hard in this Pilates feet. Now think about putting them on the inner edges of the feet. See how that makes it a little bit easier to hold the American Express card, but we don't want to cheat like that. Take the weight and put it in the center. So, so squeezing towards the midline, feeling the belly move, being proud across the chest. Hopefully finding some center. You guys are way more centered than I am coming out of yoga. I'm kind of jealous. One more. Now we're going to come to our chair, do a nice gentleman stretch just to get started. So sit down however you'd like, cross that right foot over the left. Don't worry, this is not going to be all this easy. Just going to open up the piriformis, the outer edge of that booty. And again, we want the chairs up against the wall for the next exercise. If this feels good, then hang out here. If you want to increase it, lean into it. I know that Rima has already done her workout today, so I thought a nice booty stretch would be good. But, and I know you guys just got done doing some yoga. Now you can do a couple of things. You can lean into it or you can twist into it. And Jan's be careful with the knees. I prefer to twist towards the right foot, twisting over towards the left. But those of you that are super mobile, don't go searching for sensation and increasing it. If you're super mobile, just acknowledge it and breathe. Now go ahead and cross the leg, lady stretch in Pilates, and bring that left foot for left foot closer to the right, right foot switching. It's almost like we're doing Gomu Kasana or cafe face pose on the, on the floor, but we're doing it in a chair. So the left foot is sliding over to the left a smidge and then lean forward. So this is a little bit less in the hips because we're not on the floor, but you should feel, so we're still sitting cross-legged like you're sitting at church. And if you want to intensify it, you can do this. I find that just leaning forward is enough. So this is it's in the hips a little bit, but you should feel this in your low back. Yeah. You don't sit that well. I mean, you're you're excused. All right, let's uncross and recross. So figure four, or in Pilates, this is called gentleman stretch. And keep the foot flexed. Keep the foot flexed. Is it both? It's y'all's both in the same knee, right? Yeah. Okay, so keep the foot flexed. Which foot? The bent leg foot. That protects the knee. And yeah, you might want to keep a slightly closer cross figure four because too much of this is a lot of pressure. Yeah, so I'm trying to pull the foot in closer, right? Not necessarily. This is less about right here and more about out here in the tissue. And this is going to feel. Yes, good. that's so, good. Okay, that's good. Yo. You bored? Oh, we're about to. I'll make. I'll take care of that in just a second. Don't worry about me. Oh, 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 oh. All right. I'm fine. Ladies, stretch. So crossing the leg over, shimmy that right foot over just a smidge towards the left a little bit, and maybe take that left foot over towards the right. Notice how your sits bones, sacrum, kind of go woo, open like a book. We talked about that last night in class. There was an expression that you should never use in yoga class. It's called flowering your anus. What? <laughs> and once you've heard it, you can't unhear it. But imagine that you're flowering your sacrum instead of your anus. <laughs> I was going to say powerhouse. I know, right? There, it, the, the, expression, <laughs> the expression was trying to uh, spread your sit bones, and it's the worst expression ever. And you're welcome. You're going to have nightmares about flowering anuses. <laughs> I said the A word in front of my mother. All right. <laughs> Forward, Karate, you're honey. alone. <laughs> That's right. Yoga, you're good. That's right. Okay, so now that's that's right. Now that we have loosened up our hips, we're going to go ahead, come down to the mat, have your feet up against the chair. Ladies online, can you guys see me? Yes. All right, lay down all the way, and your feet are going to be pressing. We want the toes pressing into the chair. So demonstration. Demonstration. So my, the balls of my feet are kind of on the metal part and my toes are kind of wrapping around it. 
for you guys with different chairs, you kind of want to have just the, like this, the top parts of the balls of the feet. Come back to that Pilates V for me. Bring the hands into the mat beside you. And then let's play with the Pilates bridges. So press the hands down into the mat. Squeeze the heels together a lot. I want you to get those heels together. Yeah. Now, pretend to draw the navel to the spine. And remember that bowl of, of Fruit Loops? We're going to spill it all towards our face. Baby, you can catch some opening your mouth. I'm just kidding. Bridge your hips up. Bridge the hips up. Nice. Hold it up here. This should feel pretty good. Draw the navel in. With the aid of the chair, draw the navel in. Tuck it under the, the rib cage. Tuck, tuck, and slowly start to lower it back down. Now, as we come down, evaluate yourself. Did your knee, knees stay in the same place? Because if they didn't, I can give you a ball or a magic circle. Look at the knees, draw the belly to your spine, try to spill the soup bowl towards your face and bridge the hips back up. Do not let the knees move wider or narrower. Was that different this time? Marsha, close your knees just a bit. You want them to be in line with the shoulders. And then hold it and squeeze. Ooh, I like those red leggings, Don. Press down through the hands and then slowly articulating the spine, upper back, middle back, lower back. We got four more. Press down through the toes, squeeze the heels together, press down through the hands and slowly raise yourself back up. Lower back, middle back, upper back. So it's a different bridge than yoga. So we're up here in the bridge, lifting your tushy, trying to tuck in the tailbone. Beautiful, one more breath and then slowly start to lower upper back, middle back, lower back. Okay, Marsha, can you drop your toes just as mid? You two hands. Right my hands are freezing, but my heart is warm. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, push down. Oh, wait, we got four more, three more times. Push down, lift up. Pay attention to your hips this time. Are your hips wiggle wobbling the whole way up? If they are, say, ah, ah, ah. draw the navel in, try to stabilize the hips. Nice, this was four, right? And then slowly lower, thinking upper back, lower back. I'm gonna keep this tailbone up high. Lower back, now the sacrum, and then the tailbone. You feel the difference with that articulation? No. Okay, so again, <laughs> inhale, draw that belly button to spine. Leave this, leave that rib cage down. Just lift the tailbone like you're trying to be C vertical. Now come just to the top of the hip crest. Now come just beneath the, low, the belly button. Now come just beneath the bra line. You feel the difference curving it in some more. Now come up as high as you can and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. We're gonna have buns of steel after today. Slowly lower, upper back, middle back. Think about scooping like you're scooping ice cream, which is probably a terrible analogy in a workout class. Scoop the belly button in with each vertebra rolling down. Nice. This is the last one. We're gonna do a little bit of variation here. Inhale, press down through the toes, keep those heels down, press down through the hands, and then slowly articulate the spine all the way up. Can you get those heels together, Jenna? How do you press through your hands? I don't. So that's going to help you activate your upper body. So thinking about active, I'm so sorry, my hands are cold. Active through those triceps. Draw the tummy in, link through the tailbone. Now pretend you're Shakira and give me some hip dips side to side. You can either dip it down side to side, or you can do like sh shakes. But what? Let me make sure online can hear. Yeah, you guys heard. So you're thinking right side, left side, but keep the knees in the same place. Notice what you feel in the low back here. Couple more hip shakes. Nice, Betsy. And then come back up to your highest bridge. And then squeeze the glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep the heels together. Draw the navel in. Come down just to your bra line. Or where your bra line would be, Joe. All right. Come down just to the belly button, where the belly button would be. Super scoop here. We want to start to tuck out, come out of it. Keep the super scoop. Hold super scoop some more. Then come to just the top of the hip crest. Keep the tailbone up. You feel that in the tummy? Mm -hmm. And then come down. Go ahead and bring your knees to your chest. Oh, how, how are your booties? So, <laughs> did y'all do a lot of booty work today? Yeah. Yes. Oh, awesome. Elizabeth and I we did a lot of everything. All right, so now we're going to do arches. So if we were on the reformer, this would have been called toes. 
Now we're going to be doing arches. So bring your feet together all the way together, having the toes over the top of the foot, maybe the arches in the hard part of the chair. Heel is like you're trying to make a C with your foot. Now remember the American Express black card. It is now in between your knees. You're never going to let your knees go. Start to squeeze the black card and feel how your inner thighs automatically activate. So what's going to want to happen is your heels are going to want to come up. Don't let them come up. Keep the heels pressing down. Keep the toes pressing down. Press down through the hands. Try to imagine your shoulder blades are pulling down towards your sits bones. Now with your chin facing towards the heaven, go ahead and draw the tummy in and lift that tailbone up towards the sky. Keep the knees together. Keep articulating the spine, drawing the navel in, scooping, 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 coming to your capacity. Notice what's going on with the hips. Notice what's going on with the tailbone. The tailbone should be the highest thing, not the hip bones. Feel the difference, squeeze those legs together, then lower down, upper back, keep the scoop, middle back, keep the scoop, keep the scoop, and then set it all the way down. We got five more, draw that tummy in, and then super scoop it up, tailbone, belly button, nice, lower back, sorry, I'm so cold, press down here. Thinking about the shoulders rotating in and towards each other. You see that? Your American Express is lost. You don't get to go to the shopping spree. Squeeze the knees together. Squeeze and lift. Tuck the tailbone a little bit more. Draw that navel in. Highest bridge of your day. And then slowly, hey, 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 American Express is mine. And then slowly lower. <laughs> okay, what do you mean the tailbone should be higher than the hip bone? When you're in the bridge position, when you're in the bridge position, look, see how this is my tailbone and this is my hip, so it's scooping forward. That's what I mean by that. Online, can y'all see that? So Marsha had the question, what do you mean about your tailbone being um, higher than your hip bones? Try not to flash anybody. That means in yoga, we just bridge up, right? Nice and flat. You see how my tailbone is reaching towards the chair? It's not reaching towards the ceiling. When it's reaching towards the ceiling, there's a bigger super scoop. Can you guys see that? both in person and online. So yoga bridge would be like this. Pilates bridge would be like this. See the difference? Yeah. All right. But you notice how my knees were not together. I lost my American Express card. No kidding. All right, press down. We got three more. Press down. Super scoop, super scoop. Draw that tummy in. This is pelvic forward. Try to squeeze your feet together. Squeeze your knees together. Joe, I just took your card. Squeeze it together. It. I got my own. Sandy will just get it. <laughs> Squeeze and then slowly start to lower. Your hands are actively pressing into the mat. I should see your tricep muscles. I should see your tricep. That helps you. That helps you. But I don't think that scoop in it. Like your phone. Just keep practicing. All right, we down? Yeah, we're down. All right, two more. Inhale. I'm coming, Marsha. Draw the navel in. Super scoop, good, super scoop. Yeah. Oh, but you see how that comes apart? That's the before. So come down again. Super scoop and hold it up here. Keep it together. Keep it together. That's a beautiful scoop. Keep it together. Don't let this go. You have it. And then slowly lower. Don't let that tailbone be the last thing to land. We got one more. <sighs> Inhale, press down through the hands. Pull the shoulder blades down towards the sits bones. Press down through the arches of the feet and lift slowly. Lower back. Good scoop, Cindy. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Lift, 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 and squeeze. Don't let those knees come apart. Squeeze the knees together. And then lower down. That's to keep those knees together. Keep those knees together. Lower it all the way down. Is that five? I think that was five. We got one more. Oh. If it gets too hard, Betsy, you can scoot in a little bit more and that'll be a little bit easier. The closer your bottom is to the chair, the easier this will be. It'll focus it a little bit more on the tushy and put less in the handy. All right, you ready? You guys feeling this in the tummy as well as the tushy? All right. Okay. Press down through the hands. Nice. Draw the tummy in and articulate the spine just like if Shakira was here and she could shake her tushy all sorts of ways. Scoop it in. Good scoops, ladies. Press down through the arches. Lift the hips up high, keeping the knees pressing together. Now look down your nose and see what's going on with your hips or your hips in line. Don't get tired. Give me one more scoop and lift. 
Press down through the hands to slowly lower it down. This was called bird on the perch, bird on the perch or arches. Next exercise is heels. I'm not gonna lie, this is the hardest. What was just this? <laughs> this is why I hate Pilates. <laughs> it's called layering. Okay, the only thing I want layered is my cake. <laughs> With chocolate. With All right, chocolate. so if you have socks on like I do, you might slide off metal, metal chairs. Okay, so bring your heels together, toes together, flex the feet a lot, and think about bringing the pinky toes towards the face. That American Express card is still between your knees, pressing down through the hands, keeping the feet nice and flexed. This is where I lose my flex. Try not to lose your flex. Think flex foot, think tummy in, think belly button scooping in, leading with the tailbone, come up to your bridge position. Imagine doing this on the reformer, holding the bridge and pushing it out and in. That's where it gets real. Keep those feet flexed, keep those feet flexed. And then slowly lower it. Don't let the knees come apart. Down. Nicely done. Five more. Just like that. Press it down. Draw the navel in. Scoop it in. And lift it up. Good articulation, ladies. Nice. Think if I was there, I would be pressing the tailbone up. Pelvis down. Think about that nice teeter-totter, maybe. Hold and squeeze and then lower. I'm holding you at the top for a reason, but Tushy doesn't love it. All right, four more. Press down through the hands. Get active here in the shoulders. Lifting it up. Lift. Squeeze and lift. You guys feel on your Tushy yet? Draw the navel in. Feel your shoulders pressing down into the mat. Think about lifting through the tailbone. Think about sucking the tummy in. Draw the navel in. Lift, 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 and then slowly lower this part, then this part. Then this part, you feel the difference in the tummy. I hopefully didn't make it good, sorry. All right, three more. Three more, squeezing it all together. Don't lose that American Express card. Press it down and lift it up. Slow and steady. Now, as we get tired, are the hips still being in control? Hopefully so. Don't let the hips wiggle wobble. That was just the first set. Right. Slowly lower it down. No, no, no. We did the Shakira hit jiggle on the first set. That's what I meant by that one. I apologize. All right. Here we are down. We got two more. Last set of that one. And then we got one more exercise, the tendon stretch, and then we'll move on. Breakfast? Not yet. Inhale, flex the feet. Keep those big toes together. Keep the pinky toes facing towards the face. And then press down through the hands to help lift the tailbone up. Really use the backs of the shoulders, pressing into the mat to help you lift. Don't make the tummy and the tushy be the only ones doing work. Tricep muscles are engaged. Scoop it some more. Scoop, scoop, scoop. And then slowly lower it down. Don't let your hips get wiggle wobbly, Janelle. Sorry for calling you out. Hopefully yes, Jan. Yeah. <laughs> last one. We'll get a nice gentleman stretch before the last exercise. Keep the feet nice and flexed. And then inhale, draw the navel in, spill your fruit bowl, fruit loops, and tuck your tailbone to lift it up. Mama, don't let your hips sway side to side. You too, Marsha. And I know. It's so freaking hard. And then lower it down. This will hopefully, hey, keep those knees together, Betsy. Hopefully, it kind of shows you which hip is more dominant, which glute is more dominant, especially now that we're tired. Go ahead and cross one foot over the other. Bring your knees into your chest. Do whatever you need to do. Because the next thing we're going to do is tendon stretch. Your butt is not good. That means we can do some more. We're going to have buns of steel after this, man. Did we all say we the... wanted buns of steel? Did we? Did we ever say we wanted buns of yes, steel? Yes, everybody did. Do you remember we like we the 19th? What's it? Cinnabon. Cinnabon. We'll have cinnabon. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do tendon stretch. Do you guys remember the buns of steel from like the 80s? Mama had yes. it. Yeah, we had the, the video, the and the guy would say, squeeze those cheeseburgers out of those buns. <laughs> so we're squeezing the cheeseburgers out of the buns. All right, so we're going to come back to our backs. Squeeze this cheeseburger. All right, so here we are back to the original starting position with the cracks of the toes onto the chair, except this time our feet are together, our ankles are together, our knees are together, our hips, sit bones are pressing together. 
Come up to your stilettos. Pretend you're wearing, I don't know, stripper high heels. Pretend yeah, you're I on the <laughs> I would love to see that. Stripper high heels. All right. So everybody's heels really high. Press down through the hands, tilt the tailbone, and come up to your bridge oh, wow. pose with your heels really high. Woo. Now, keep your he tailbone, keep your hips exactly where they are. Heel, left heel stays exactly where it is, but the right heel drops down to get a nice little calf stretch. So the right heel is down, the left heel is up and switch. Nice, we're gonna do one more alternating. Switch, right heel down, left heel up. Don't let the heels get wiggle wobbly, not the heels, the hips. And then switch, the hips stay on the same plane, even though the heel is down and up. Now lift that left heel up, squeeze the knees together, press down through the hands, lower both heels, but disassociate the hips from the heels. Heels stay up every bit as high, and then they lift back up. Feel how that changes the pelvis a little bit. Drop the heels, really stretch out the Achilles, draw the tummy in, lift the heels. Feel that's amazing. Drop the heels. There's that A word. Lift the heels. Don't lose the American Express card. Three more. Drop the heels. Keep the hips high. Lift the heels. Two more. Can you pull the shoulders away from the ears? Drop the heels. Keep breathing. Keep squeezing. Lift the heels. Add a girls and boys. Drop the heels. Last one. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Lift the heels. Lift the hips. Slowly lower it all the way down. That was awesome, wasn't it? Did you love it? Well, at least I concluded I'm never going to be a stripper. <laughs> all right. So now what we're going to do, after you um, loved your, your tushy or your hammies or whatever you need to do, we're going to come over into a seated position. And we're going to do rowing. We've done rowing before. I have a motor on my motor. But it's a little bit different. Well, just in case that motor ever dies. So shimmy a little bit away from your chair. Ooh, you don't have to use any weights on this. Unless you're feeling really froggy. I will be honest with you. I'm not using weights. If that tells me something. I did this yesterday. I did not want weights. All right. I'm going to give you guys a little angle here. So. Feet are pressing down firmly into the mat. That American Express card is between your knees. The reason why we want to squeeze the knees together is that helps to activate the inner thighs. Pressing down through the big toes helps to press the knees together, helps to activate the inner thighs, which helps to fire up the pelvic floor, which helps to keep you from going to the bathroom on yourself, among other things. Now, bring, <laughs> bring your chin to your chest, put your hands behind your thighs, and give me a nice capital letter C. Now think about the lasso around your tummy and the lasso is pulling your tummy back. You keep this capital letter C. Can you bring your low back sacrum closer to the mat, Don? A little more around. Yeah, you're gonna hate me for that here in a minute. Reach your hands out, elbows in line with the shoulders. Pull the shoulders down and away from the ears, Mama and Janice. Now, pull the shoulders down and give me eight bicep curls, eight. You're like, oh, this isn't so bad. I can do this. Mm. Create your resistance. Now, what's going on with that capital letter C? Don't lose the capital letter C because this is tummy. What number are we on, Marsha? 13. 15. One more. Nice. Now, turn, put the knuckles together, palms facing away. Take them into your chest and then take it out and in. Out. Scoop some more in. Just six of these. In. Three more. Out. And keep it scooped out. And one more out. In nice. Now come to prayer hands. This is a yoga studio after all. Pull the shoulders down and away. We're gonna make a big V like we're singing YMCA. Y down. Y down. Belly feel it yet? Y down. Three more. Y. Keep the round. Two more. Round. Y. Last one. Y down. Go ahead. Grab the backs of the thighs. Roll yourself up. I was going to do this without a rest, but I thought you guys would have all left early. We might still leave. Do you feel that in the tummy? This is awesome, right? Yes. Are you knee, Are the knees supposed to be together? If you can. Yeah, yeah. So there's a little bit to, to do with anatomy, but it's a lot to do with um, inner thigh strength and pressing together. So the hip adductors and adductors. So this is all building, believe it or not, this is still building hip um, 
stability, hip stability while still working with the core. Because some of you guys may have felt that you hip flexor, right? That's because the core wasn't wanting to do, wasn't able to do all the work. All right, so now we're going to do that again, but we're going to face to the right. So grab hold of the backs of the thighs, bring the chin to the chest, roll it back, keep the knees squeezing together, squeeze the knees together. Oh, it's being so quiet. Let go of the backs of the thighs, reach your hands towards the right. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Keep the nice capital letter C. Give me eight bicep curls. Eight to the right. Seven, six, five, four. Good job. Feel that in the obliques. Three, draw the tummy in. One, nice. Now bring the knuckles together, palms facing away. Just six of these for six, five, four, three. Draw the tummy in. Two, and one, nice. Now we're gonna do the, the prayer hands. Take the hands out, give me six wides. Two, three, get out of those shoulders, ladies, if you can. Two, pull them down and away. One, now listen here, make prayer hands. Put, go a little more to the right. Keep the knees together, go down an inch. Up an inch, just six, down an inch, belly in, up an inch, down an inch, holy smokes. Up an inch, squeeze the knees, down. And up, how many is that? Down Six. and up. Come all the way up. Say a little prayer. Whoa. Oh, wow. Now we have to do the other flipping. We do. We have to do I only have one side. <laughs> if you do that, Joe, then you would walk in circles all day. You would be lost. It should be cool. Until Monday. All right. I think that was about right up for NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You guys ready? This time, this cue, this cue might help us a little bit more with the um, twisting. I noticed some, some people were struggling a little bit with the twist. So inhale, draw the navel into your spine, grabbing hold of the back of the thighs. Don't let go of your American Express card. Curl the chin to the chest and roll it back. This time before we let go, shift the knees over to the right a smidge. It's to the right, yeah. Now let go, reach your hands over to the left. Did that create a little more space for you all? Yeah, Squeeze the so. knees. Eight bicep curls, eight, squeeze the knees, seven, six, pull the shoulders down and away, five, get those elbows up some, Janelle, four, good, three, elbows up some, Marsha, two, last one, bring the knuckles together, palms facing away, six of these, nice curls, six, five, four, push down through the big toes, squeeze the knees together, two, nice rounding, one, nice, give me some Vs for six, five, draw that tummy in, four, three, two, come on, last one, one, nice, hold the prayer hands, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, squeeze the knees, up an inch, four more, use your big toes to help you come up, that's going to help you to fire up the pelvic floor, we got two more, one more, Come all the way up. Give yourself a lovey squeeze. Wow. That was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Awesome. I was having trouble trying to get weight to the big toe, though. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It, it'll come. I mean, it would have been really easy had somebody been there to help you push it down. The idea is to get really heavy in your feet and be able to do that. But that's all of this midline connection. And it'll come with practice. And the more you practice, especially back squeezing together and pressing down, that's going to help to stabilize the pelvis, which will help your um, hip. All right, I got to look at my notes because I can't remember what I did next. Oh, shavasana. Shavasana was not it. Yes, <laughs> that's coming. That's coming. All right, so go ahead and oh, lay down onto your mat. We're going to lay all the way down. Can you believe it? I have. Are we using the chairs? No, we won't use the chair. We won't use the chair. Just move the chair out of the way. Yeah, or you can just scoot a little bit off the chair. I'm not going to. Okay. So. Oh, chair. Okay. If you want, you can take your little weights. That's how you lay down. I, I shouldn't have told you to lay down. Let's well, stay seated. I'm sorry. I told you to lay down and I didn't mean to. I forgot about I'm kind of enjoying it though, right? I, I know, right? I forgot about teaser. I just saw my notes and after I told you, so we gotta do teaser. What are you doing out there? Uh. So remember teaser is 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 it okay? Okay. So 
Teaser is like boat, except boat has a nice flat back. Teaser has a nice rounded back. If you want, I'm not gonna judge you. You can have your feet on the chair, totally okay. And if you want, you can just have it there in case you wanna touch it, in case, options. It's a slightly easier option. The other option is you just hold this teaser, hold the weights, and we lower it down and lift it up. We're just doing three. I would suggest using the, the chair if you're worried about your teaser. Lower it down and lift it up. Try to keep those feet nice and steady. Use it and if you use the chair, it'll help you to give you something to, to press down to lift up. Lift it up. Say that. Lift it up. Just three. That helps you with the line that it helps you to lift up. It makes the whole exercise easier. Lower it down and lift it up. Just three. After three, hold your teaser. It's pretty awesome, right? And you can drop the weights too. You don't have to use the weights. Here we are with nice bent legs, arms out straight from the shoulders. Lower the arms, lift the arms. Lower, draw the navel in. Lower. Lift, extend the legs out as long as you can. Lower the legs, lift the legs. Lower the legs, lift the legs. Lower, <laughs> squeeze the knees together, lift. Now we're gonna move the legs and arms in opposite directions. Raise the arms, lower the legs, and bring them together. We raise the arms, lift, and bring them together. Only one more. We raise and lower, and then bring them together. Say a little prayer, because we are done. I love it, I gotta know. So, no. It's not as easy this time, huh? No mercy, mama. How you guys doing online? Good. <laughs> so go ahead. Everyone might have been hiding. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she had the camera off, eating popcorn. Feel like <laughs> All right, flex your feet a whole bunch. You can be facing the chair. It doesn't really matter. Reach the hands towards the toes. Slowly with control, try to roll yourself back. I don't think I'm going to hit the chair. Yeah, I the chair. That's actually a good option, Janice. I just like reclining back on the chair. <laughs> All right. So lengthen out through that left foot a whole bunch. That left heel is super glued down to the mat. The left pinky toes are facing your face. Bring the right foot all the way up to the sky. Press the hands down into the mat. Now the hands pressing into the mat are gonna be a good reminder to pull the shoulders down and away from the ears, pressing the shoulder blades together and down towards the sits bones. Now, do you feel how your left hip is already working to keep things stable? Now think about the hip crests. I think that was the word that you used yesterday, Dawn. These hip bones right here at the top of the hips. Press those puppies into the mat. I don't wanna hear anything about cushion. I got plenty of cushion. I can still lengthen through the tailbone and get those bones pressing into it. You feel it? So you might have to super scoop more than you think. Guess what? That's gonna turn on the core. You feeling it? And if you don't feel it yet, that's okay. It took me forever, fine. Now keep those sit, those hip bones pressing into the mat. Keep the back of that left heel pressing into the mat. Keep the left toes facing towards the heavens. Press the hands down onto the mat. We haven't even started exercising yet. Let the head rest. We're gonna do some leg circles, single leg circles. Go ahead, point the toes because we're all fancy dancers. Take those legs across the body down, sharp at the top. Keep the hip bones pressing into the mat, cross the body down, sharp at the top. Make that exclamation point. Up, inhale down, exhale. There's four, here's five, here's six. Like here's Johnny. Take it the other direction, take it out a little, over a lot, sharp at the top. Add a little over a lot, sharp. Add a little over, sharp. Three, three more. Don't let those hip bones move. Don't let that left foot move. Last one. Sharp at the top. Now, it's nice. Draw the belly in, or I guess you can give me a hug. <laughs> so scissor those legs. You guys feeling this in the core as well as the hips? Maybe, I hope. Press down through the hip bones again. Press down through the right foot again. Pressing those pinky toes towards your face. Right foot is really flexed. 
left foot is really pointed. It feels weird because one is flexed and one is pointed, but that's okay. Press it down through those hip bones, draw that tummy in, take it across the body down, sharp at the top. Sharp at the top. Sharp at the top. Nothing else is moving but that foot. Sharp. We got two more. Sharp. One more. Sharp. Opposite direction. Take it out a little over a lot. Out a little over a lot. We got three more. Don't let anything else move. This is my weaker side. Last one. Sharp. Flex that foot. Lengthen out through the left heel. Think that you're growing that left leg as you take it all the way down to the mat. Long body stretch. Oh, oh it feels amazing, didn't it? <laughs> Something like that? That's a little bit weird. Okay. <laughs> now let's do tree pose. If we were doing tree pose, it would be on the short box on the reformer. So reach your hands to the heavens, but we have to come to a seated position. If you'd like, you can bend your knees, grab both the back of the thighs, bring your chin to your chest. Walk your hands up your thighs. But if you want to work for it, bring your chin to your chest, roll it up. I mean, both of them are working. Both of them are working really freaking hard. All right. Now, you know, since we have the chair, we could work on roll ups. That wasn't in my plan. We could just go roll up. Absolutely roll up. Put your back of your teeth. They can give you calories. All right. Left, left foot is flexed. Right foot, go ahead and grab the back of that right foot and limber the leg for three, two, one. Walk the hand up the calf, up the ankle. Maybe if you can get that far, point and flex the toes. Oh, Lord of mercy. Choose the flex, curl in, so elbows wide. Hello, hamstrings. Now, how far you go down is gonna be dependent on two things. How much you can super glue that left foot down and how open your hips are. And how so, close to the chair you Oh, yeah, and also how close to the chair you are. So, you're going to roll it down, but don't let the left foot come up. As soon as it starts to come up, you got to stop. That's core work. <laughs> yes! That's core work. And then roll it back up. Show me your necklace here at the top. It's pretty cool, right? You guys did chair. Didn't you do chair yesterday? Not sure. Cheap tree. You guys did this on the short box. Yeah. Chin to your chest. Should tell me in. Roll it back. Only roll back as far as you can keep that left heel planted. You guys feel that in the hammies? Maybe you feel it in the low back. And then roll it back up. Show me your necklace. Keep the flex. But isn't that for, uh, in the, in the bridle? Yeah, this one has a uh, seat belt, so that means your core doesn't have to work as much. When you're on the mat, everything's harder. Draw your tummy in, bring your chin to your chest, elbows out wide, roll it back. Right foot is really flexed, really flexed. See if you can curl it back a little bit more. Oh, we lost the tree timber. Roll it back up. Show me your necklace. All right, we get a nice little side stretch. Take that right hand to the inner arch part of the, the right foot. Left hand's gonna reach out into the back just a smidge. Open the right leg, option one. Option two is lean back and then open it up. You can use your left hand to brace it. Can't that. All right, bring it back up. Left hand comes to the outer edge of the right foot. Right hand reaches back, say hi, and twist it out. IT stretch. We're going to take this into a whole nother level. Take that right hand down just a smidge to the mat, and then see if you can cross the right leg across the body. Oh, hello, IT band, right? So keep that right hip bone pressing into the mat. Keep thinking lots of energy out through that right heel. Feeling it? It's awesome. This is like my new favorite stretch. Oh, you can also reach the left shoulder in the opposite direction to help intensify it. All right, go ahead. Cross the right foot over the left. Gentlemen, stretch. So that wasn't so <laughs> terrible. Oh, he's still in there too. So we, we, we had a nice crescendo. Now we're doing, what's the opposite in the symphony? I can't remember. Deep crescendo? Deep crescendo, maybe. There we go. Deep crescendo. And now we're going to ride this deep crescendo before we come right back up. So remember that left leg. One more up before I lose track of time. Oh, crap. We got to go. Yeah, we got to go. Let's go. Walk the hands up. Point and flex the toes. Point and flex. Choosing the flex here, maybe in a minute, because this feels too good. 
All right, choose the flex. I gotta keep this moving. Elbows out wide, draw the tummy in, rounding down into the leg. Right leg is cemented down. Your option is to stay right here or to roll it back, but only as far as you can keep the right heel down. Eventually, maybe we'll be able to get the left foot all the way reaching for the ceiling, hashtag goals, and then roll it all the way back up. Show me your knuckles. Do that two more times. Chin to your chest, elbows out wide, roll it back. This is nothing like the last class mama came to. What did you tell Janice? That it wasn't so bad? Janice is probably like, I'm never freaking coming back here again. She's coming I don't back blame you, Derek. She's coming back on Friday. Inhale, come all the way back up. I'm doing somebody different. Flex the butt, roll it back. Last one, best one. See if you can roll back maybe one more vertebra. Maybe you can get vertebrae, the coral <laughs> of the vertebra. Nicely done, roll it up. You can also hold on to the back of the knee too. You don't have to do it. Take the left hand to the inner arch part of the left foot, or you can grab hold of the, the grab hold of the leg and hug it like a little baby. Right hand reaches back, open the leg and lean it back. So it's like a nice opening. This you guys didn't do yet. This will be an intermediate if you guys are chest up bodies person for not Cynthia, who was Cynthia? For um Caroline. Come on up. Cross that right arm up to the outer edge of the left foot. Left, left hand first wave. We got to warm up that IT band, then we're in a movie. Draw the tummy in, thinking tiny waist, twisting it out here. Janice, I think it'd be better if you did this since you're so fresh with the knee and have the knee slightly bent and you can still get that same sort of twisting. Now lean back some and cross, keep that left hip bone pressing into the mat. So your bottom cheek is still on the mat, Janice. Bottom cheek still stays on the mat. You guys feeling this? You can press that hand into the mat and lean back some, Don. That gets into it a little more. You feel it? Yep. <laughs> All right. Coming on up. Do your form. Oh. I that you're teaching gentle yoga. I am tonight. Will you do me a favor, video? Because I'm just dying to see what you're doing. Well, you should just yeah. zoom in. Yeah. Let's go ahead. You could, you could zoom in. There is a gentle Jennifer. I have successful, well, almost successfully raised two toddlers. No, I'm a very gentle person. All right, bring both feet in all the time. Bring both feet in. Pardon me? I think she did. Thank you for reminding me. I need to text her and check in on her. All right, bring your feet in. Butterfly pose. They're really good at distracting me. This We're is trying. Payback, payback from my senior silver days. All right, bring those knees in. Let me make sure I haven't forgotten anything. We did our circles. Oh, I forgot to bring us the magic circle. Oh, oh, I always get really annoyed in a polite class if we don't do a little bit of sideline exercises. So go ahead. We're only going to do a couple sideline exercises because that's why we put the Pilates pants on. Coming on to your left side. And then we're going to end standing. So you can lay all the way down to your bicep. <laughs> Okay, yoga hands. That's why we put the spandex on. I mean, let me paraphrase. Now, if you lay all the way down, it's a little bit easy. Take your right hand and go ahead and touch your rib cage on the bottom, your left side rib cage. And think about seeing if you can lift it off the mat. It may not actually lift, but put that right hand and give your little rib cage a hug and try to lift it. You feel how that turned on that oblique? You feel it a little bit? All right. No? Yes. Okay, making sure. Now, press the right hand into the mat, but keep that lower rib cage pressing off of the mat. Picking up both feet, set them down at a diagonal, left toes down, left heel up. Right foot is an extension of that right hip. Don't let that lower rib cage flop out. So if your belly button's sticking out to your neighbor in front of you, draw it in. Now we're going to do the Pilates kick. We're going to kick, kick forward and shift it back. Just five, kick, kick forward, shift it back. Don't let those hips come unstacked. Shift it back. Two more. Draw the tummy in and shift it back. One more. Kick, kick forward and shift it back. Now it's nice. Stack, stack the hands. Lift it up. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Lift it up. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Three, two, one. Here's those cheeseburgers coming out of those buns. Or in our case, we're having sloppy joes tonight. They're in my crock pot. Five circles. Five. Four. Well, this is earning the sloppy joes. Think about it. Two, one. Other direction. Take it back. 
back. Strike those heels together if you can. Two, one. Say a prayer from over to your tummy. Oh, oh my God, we got our hamstring work. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, we'll reserve that for when we come to standing. Roll over to the other side. Oh, well, you can do that side again. <laughs> so again, you can have your right ear to your right bicep, or you can have it up here in your hand. Keep in mind, if you have it up here, your head resting in your hand, you have to work way harder to keep that lower rib cage off the mat. So I'm going to rest my head down. Ooh, nice back to your shirt, Dawn. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> All right, give your, give your low rib cage a hug and try to lift it off the mat. It may not actually come off the mat, but that's what you're thinking about. You guys feel how that turns on the core? Now keep it up as we press down through the left hand to lift up both feet, set them down at the top of the mat. The right toes are dialed down, the right heel is up. Left foot is an extension of that left hip. Now, I forgot to cue this. The left hip is gonna wanna flop backwards. Don't let it. Keep that left hip stacked on top of the right. Press down through the left hand. We're gonna kick, kick forward, kick, kick, and shift it back. Kick, kick forward, kick, kick. Make it distinct and back. Kick, kick, and back. Two more, kick, kick, and back. One more, kick, kick, and back. Five up and down, lift it up. Three, two, one, and down and up. Two, one, and down and up. And lift that rib. And up, one more, up. Give me five circles, five. Don't move anything else, just the leg. Three, Ugh. lift that rib, two. Last one, other direction, four, five. And four, three, two. Last one, go ahead, roll over to your tummy. Maybe give yourself a nice little back bend here. And then you're gonna push yourself up active stretch otherwise known as child's pose okay so i gotta hurry i only have seven more minutes maybe eight if i hold you the minute that we started late so now we're going to do a little more hamstring booty work you ready you can do this on your hands and knees in a tabletop position but since we had chairs i'm going to use the chair option for chair number one is on the short side or you can do it on the tall side this is like a little bit of bar work, whatever's the most comfortable for you. We're going to come like to an airplane pose in yoga. I'm going to do mine on the low side so you all can see it a little better. So our feet are directly beneath our sits bones, or actually I'm going to Pilates V, whatever's more comfortable. I think it makes more sense to have our feet directly beneath the sits bones. I'm going to hug the sides of my chairs because it's easier on the wrist, thinking long wrists at all times. Don't lock out your elbows and pump up that space between your shoulder blades. So we got a nice little cat back here in the back. So we're gonna press down a whole bunch through that left foot and we're gonna take the right foot back. But notice how my right leg isn't all the way up. I can't because then I start to dump in the low back. So only have your right leg out as far as you can keep your back nice and straight. The foot is flexed. We're gonna raise and lower for eight. Seven, don't lock the left knee. Six, five, get that right hip down. Three, keep the right hip down. Two, and one, point the toe for eight, seven, six, keep the right hip down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now pretend you're a prima ballerina. We're going to take the right foot down to the left and shoot it back up. Down to the left, shoot it up. Down. And up two more, down and up one more, down and up. Now, just like we did the bicep curls, we're gonna do hamstring curls to bend it in and out for eight. In, out, lift the knee up as high as you can, out, five more. In, out, lift the knee up, but keep the hip down. Three more, in and out, lift that hip up, mama, in and out, two more, in, out, one more in out now bring it in pulse it like you're punching out a ceiling tile eight seven six five well up between the shoulder blades try to give me a little more cat back ladies and gentlemen two one set it down say a prayer Whoa. that was awesome right 
Who did start doing this on Sunday? There's so much praying. Yeah, I know, right? I used to say Monday was the most righteous class. Maybe it's Mondays and Wednesdays. Are we supposed to have our back propped up the whole time? Yes. Yes. Okay. You can. Because so, most of the time, that's why I was just saying cat back. Was, um, so what we don't want to have happen is this, like the cheerleader booty, because that's dumping into the back. So cute. We really want to think nice rounding because that does that protects the shoulders, gets the serratus muscles nice and involved, and gets the core muscles nice and involved. Y'all ready? Press down firmly through the other foot. Yoga did you lay in the leg? What? Oh yes. Well, otherwise, you'd be perfect. You'd walk in circles all day. All right. <laughs> So you ready? Press down firmly through that right foot. Bring that left foot up. Left foot is nice and flexed. Keep that left hip down in line with the right. You can use your hands to check in. You're going to lower the leg. Lift the leg. Don't lock the elbows. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. Three. Give me five more. Lower. Lift. Mama, draw your belly button in. Lower. Lift. Two more. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift one more. Lower. Lift. Now point the toes. Lower. Lift. And seven. And six. You can use your hands to check in if you're not quite sure if your hips are square. We got four. And three. Don't lock the elbows. Two. And one. Uh, channel your inner ballerina. Take it down to the right and lift it up. Down to the right. Lift it up. Down. And up five more. Down and up. Down, up, down, up one more. Down, up. Now bend and flex. Flex that foot. Bend it in for eight, seven. Give me cat back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the bend. Keep the bend and punch out a ceiling tile. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, good control. Three, two, one. Say a little prayer. That's done. Wow. That was awesome. So that is going to make you have nice smiley peaches. That's the smile of your tushy. I like peaches. fruit. You love fruit. I love fruit. Okay. No, no. Well, we will love it after the end of class. Grab I'm your weights. You Grab your weights. We got three minutes. We can do some damage in three minutes. Oh, I'm sure yeah. All right. Bring your chair back to the wall if it moved. Knee people, y'all sit down and do these arm exercises. Non knee people, stand up and do this. So we're going to have our feet hip socket distance apart. I'm in your chair. You can sit on the floor if you want to. Oh, but I was, I mean, yeah, I think it's great that you sit on the floor. Put up your hips. All right, arms out in front of you. My aunt had surgery less than two months ago on her knee, so she gets a pass. And mama's had three or four surgeries on her knee, so she gets a pass. All right, you ready? Have those feet, hips socket distance apart. Have the arms out in front of you. Now notice how my arms are reaching straight forward. Pull those shoulders down and away. If you don't have weights, that's okay. You can still get the workout just like we did when our bicep curls with no weights, right? So we're gonna pay attention that our knees don't wiggle wobble. So find the balls of the feet, find the heels of the feet, and find the outer edges of the feet and center yourself. Arms are out wide, come into a quarter chair. So we can't quite find the chair, but we're almost there, right? So our tailbone's nice and long. Our knees are an extension from the hip bones. Give me eight curls, eight, seven, six. Keep the elbows up and four, three, two, last. One, now knuckles together, punch it out. Eight, I guess I could do them both at the same time. Seven, six, five, four. You remember these moves? Three, two, one. Sit down a little lower because you can. Bs, V, 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 three of these. Give me five more. Draw that tummy in, give me the ribs in. Two, one, take them out wide. Hold them up, sit down a little lower, bring those knees in some, Marsha. Then you go down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down, up, down. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, knit those ribs in, down, up, down, up, one more, down, 
Up, take those knee, feet out wide, sumo squat. Heels in, toes out. Sumo squat. Shake it out. All right. So bicep curls, arms out wide. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Leave the arms out really wide. Circles. Eight, each direction. Eight. Seven, sit low, six, five, four, three. I swear it's like you guys are praying. Other direction, eight, seven, six. The Lord hears all of our prayers. Four, shoulders away from the ears. Two, one, hold them here. Eight, sit lower, seven, six, five, four, Three, come on. Two, one, both heels up for eight, seven, six. We got this. Last thing, five, four, shoulders away from the ears. We can, mama. Three, two, one, not yet. Two, three, you like that? That's the sneaky way. Four, five, six, sit down. Seven, last one, eight. Stand all the way up, throw your weights at somebody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go. There's the end of our Pilates class. Woo! That was good, right? You know, the lady who already did 50 spots.